What's up guys, it's LH Low Tech. I'm doing a quick unboxing and first print of the Monoprice Select Mini Version 2 3D printer. This is the black edition, $200, $220 uh, 3D printer that's available on Monoprice um, as well as a couple other places, but from Monoprice. Um, this is a rebadged version um, of a Chinese printer, but since you do get some, at least some limited American support as well as a pretty large user base, this is one of the best 3D printers you can get for about 200 bucks. So we're going to unbox it and see what we can do. Here's a box inside the box. Thank you for your order. We got filament, we got power supply, so let's stuff to the side, and the back of the unit, and there's a spark from all the static. Go ahead and let's see what else. In here. And the power cable for the block. And this is the filament holder. Very cheap plastic scraper. Surprise, the first thing you don't have you print is the plastic scraper, but I guess you would need a plastic scraper to get the plastic scraper off. So there you go. Uh, and a micro USB cable. And an SD card of indeterminate size. An Allen wrench, which you'll need to level the bed. All right, let's get this thing leveled as well as see what the first print is like. And after about three hours, this is what we got. A little cat. And actually the print quality turned out pretty good. Um, you can still see some of the banding inside of the print. And you know, there are a few little defects on the cat itself, but for the most part, it actually looks pretty good. I don't really see much of the layer lines. I'm not sure exactly what the settings were for this because this is the G code that came on the SD card. Um, so the first thing I did after finishing this one is actually print a few more things. Uh, including this little guy um, at settings that I could control. And this is printed at 0 0.175 millimeters layer height. And he actually turned out pretty okay as well for the first print of actually something I wasn't sure what the settings for. Turned out okay. So this, I'm gonna guess, was something at like 0 0.1, maybe 0 0.8, something like that. Um, this little guy was in a 0.175. He printed in like 40 minutes. This was like three hours. Um, and yes, you know, the, the, the walls on this particular little cat were massive and it was, you know, even though it's empty inside, um, you know, it just printed a whole lot of plastic on the outside. Where this guy, he's pretty light. There's not much to him. About 0.8 millimeters in thickness of the walls. So, you know, it's not too bad, like too bad, but it's not, you know, obviously massively thick and he's not solid. That being said, for a $200 printer, the quality is actually better than I expected, especially after seeing some of the things that have been out for the last couple of years, um, for you know, the four to $500 range. Um, the print resolution is actually really good. The bed leveling is was a little bit difficult because you can't level the bed um, with the, the extruder, the nozzle, on the bed pretty much, or at least not in the right, right corner. So you actually kind of have to level, move the extruder back on, measure, you know, with, with a piece of paper, see if it actually worked. Um, and that was a little bit of a nuisance, but after doing that a couple times, you kind of get used to it and it shouldn't be that big an issue going forward. And I've already tried printing even more things. 
on the printer. So I definitely plan on making some more videos about this printer. So if you have any questions or things you want me, you want me to try on the printer, let me know. I could be happy to, you know, make a video about it or just, you know, shoot the answer to you in the comments. Thanks for watching guys. This is LOH Low Tech and this has been a quick unboxing and first prints of the Monoprice Mini Select V2. Subscribe.